In this lesson, I'm going to break down seven basic licks in the key of G. All of these licks are going to be coming from the G major pentatonic scale as well as the complete G major scale. Actually, each lick also has its own variation, so really there are probably 14 licks total if you'd like to count them that way. Um, each lick is one measure long, making it easy to memorize. And as you're kind of learning them, if you're a beginner, you can memorize the one measure lick and kind of use it as a exercise to kind of build some speed and right and left hand techniques along the way. If you are a little past the beginner level, you can use this lesson to start stockpiling some ideas to help you branch off from the melody in some of your breaks. I will break down each lick note by note and kind of go over some suggested fingerings with you um, and so we can get those one measure kind of phrases down. And then towards the end of the lesson, I will show you kind of how you can start combining some of the licks together to kind of get longer phrases. So, for example, we'll take a one measure lick that we'll learn. Then we'll take another lick from the lesson and we'll, we'll combine them together without stopping uh, rhythmically. You know, we'll, we'll tie it all together. What that will do, obviously, will give you uh, longer phrases. You could even uh, add in, you know, another lick to a phrase like that and get a three measure long phrase. Um, but yeah, just good practice of, of overall to kind of get you off the melody of a, a song that you know. Maybe you are stuck in the melody of a song, you got it down really well, and then every time the, when it's your turn to take a lead, you end up playing the same thing. So sometimes kind of building a little bit of a, a vocabulary of licks is a great way to get off that melody. You can get this complete lesson with the tabs, backing tracks, and videos by clicking one of the two links in the description below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel or and or my email list. There's a link for my email list below as well if you wanna get notified when new lessons are up. All right, let's get started on learning that G run. learn that infamous G run on the dobro. Here's that sixth string open. We hit that with our thumb. We're going to place the bar on the second fret of the sixth string. Lift our bar up to where it's only touching the sixth string. Hit that with our thumb. Move that up to the third fret of the sixth string. Hit that with our thumb as well. We're going to go to that fifth string open. Hit that with our thumb. We got the four string open with our index. We're going to place that bar on that second fret of the four string. We're going to have the bar lifted up to where it's not laying across the sixth and fifth strings, but it's lifted up and it's only touching that four string. So, again, that's at the second fret, and we're going to hit that with our thumb and do a pull off. Note, it's going to be that third string open with our middle finger. Now, of course, between that second and third fret of the sixth string, you could do a slide. That creates less picking with your thumb. 